studying in standard 10th at Vidya Prashtha New English Medium School, Baramati. And today I am going to teach you a topic, work and energy. So first, work. Work, it is a product of force and displacement. Its formula is W equal to force into displacement into cos theta. Work is a scalar quantity and its SI unit is Joule and CJS unit is Earl. There are three types of work. Positive, negative and zero work. Positive work. When a force acting on an object and displacement are on the same direction, then it is called as positive work. Second, negative work. When the force and displacement are totally opposite, then it is called negative work. Last, zero work. When the force acting on an object and displacement are perpendicular to each other, then it is called zero work. Now, energy. Energy. The capacity of a body to perform a work is called its energy. It is also a scalar quantity and its SI unit is same like work joule and CJS unit is Earl. And there are two many types of energy like mechanical energy, sound energy, light energy, solar energy, chemical energy and etc. Today we are going to see two main types of energy, kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy, the energy which an object has because of its motion is called its kinetic energy. The formula for the kinetic energy is half m v square. Potential energy, the energy which is stored because of its state or position is called its potential energy. The formula for the potential energy is mgh. The of energy tells that the energy can't be created, cannot destroy and it can only transfer from one form to another form. Hence, total energy in the universe remains constant. Now, power. Power is the rate at which work is done. The SI unit of power is watt and CJS unit is earth per second. 1 watt is equal to 10 raised to 7 earth per second. There is also a unit called horsepower. 1 horsepower is equal to 746 watts. 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised to 6 joule. The electric energy used in the house or industry are measured in kilowatt hour. So we have completed our topic work and energy. Thank you. And now you all guys know that what is meant by light? Light is an electromagnetic wave which travels in a straight line. There are two types of light. Reflection of light and refraction of light. Reflection of light means bouncing back of light from any object. There are three laws of reflection of light. First, angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Second, the incident ray, reflected ray and the normal lie on the same plane. Third, the incident ray and the reflected ray are on the opposite side of normal. Now, refraction of light. What does it mean by refraction of light? The bending of light from one medium to another medium. And there are two laws of refraction of light. First, the incident ray, the reflected ray, and the normal line of plane. And second, the sine of angle of incidence is equal to sine of angle of reflection. So we will start our practical of refraction of light. So guys, we have taken a bottle with full water here and here is a small hole and we will put light from the opposite side of hole. And from the water medium to the air medium, light gets bends or not, we will see. Passing the laser from opposite side of hole. Now we will see.